Welcome everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the end of a new beginning mod, as we are playing as the Russian Empire, but we must begin with a focus, in which we do have a unique focus tree, we'll go over the National Spirits soon, but not yet, but very very soon, in which we probably need to talk about the outcome of the Crimean War. The Crimean War saw Russia's defeat, Britain's aggression, and Austria's betrayal, however, we must learn from the mistakes and modernize the military. Very cool, and I'll let you know we're on historical, we're also using, in addition to the end of the new beginning mob, we're using player of the peace conferences as well as the state transfer tool mob, and we have Russia.10.T, Russia.10.A. Cool. The Provisional Government of Latvia, after a long and concerted effort to improve cooperation and compliance between our occupation forces and local civilian authorities, we are now ready to put control of Latvia back into the hands of a local government. This new government is made up of sympathetic civilians and is ready to closely coordinate with us. They have a blessing? I don't think so, son. I really don't think so. But, uh, okay, yeah, the British Empire is at war with some Indian states. Don't really care too much about it, but um, if you like to read about this, about the GitHub, uh, the more updated version of the End of a New Beginning mod is usually on the GitHub. I understand. Thank you for your efforts. Thank you very much. Um, and additionally, also, we have some decisions here. So, let's go up to the top. We have Unrest in the Caucasus. Offer privileges for collaborators. Probably not good. Unrest in the Caucasus is not very good for us. And then we have the great game with the UK here, of course. We have more influence than the Brits. So, we can invest political attention into Central Asia, as well as send an envoy to Hong Kong. We'll send an envoy to Hong Kong in an effort to negotiate with Britain about involvement in the Second Opium War. Let's see what happens. Request to join the coalition. Uh, send support to Britain. We'll send military support to Britain in the Second Opium War. Request to join Hong Kong or coalition. Well, we'll see what happens. What do the Brits say? M Mingrelia requests her help. Uh, where the heck is Ming? Oh. Well, we shall help our friends, my friends. We shall help them out. In which, ah, the graphical glitches are back. Ah, you gotta love end of a new beginning. We don't need to talk about that. Britain accepted. We become a coalition member. We have minor Greek influence, which we don't care about. We have no political power right now. We don't need game options. We can hold a world fair. And Siberian colonization. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead, which we will be increasing coloniz colonization effects or efforts. We need to provide more funding, propaganda, propaganda, and peasants to move there and test officials of the com competency to make more to make sure the amount of colonists into Siberia increases, which we will do eventually once we get enough PP. We have no uh, political stability, which sucks, but not enough comfort from fabric manufacturing. Earlier today, one of our fabric manufacturers ran out of the various raw materials required to produce fabric and have closed down because of it. Oh boy, and as you can see, we're trying to train our army, and I have a half, have a half cup of cough here. That's kind of lukewarm already, but whatever. Alexander II holds a speech. Today is a day in which Alexander II is going to give a speech to our people. The procedure is expected to go smoothly, seeing how our government has been very stable in the last few months. The people will love it. Well, let's hope so. As we're almost done with the outcome of the Great War, implement the Mithian's military reforms. That'd be good just because I'm rushing through this because we're losing weekly ma manpower, which is really, really bad. Um, where is the manpower? And just barracks, Russian? Yes, we'll do that one. So, implement Milutin's military reforms. Milutin is one of the... One of the greatest Russia's military minds ever. We must follow his advice and implement the reforms now. Ooh, and look at that. We have an operative that we can recruit. That's not bad. The Crimean War. It was a military conflict fought from October 53, 1853, till February 1856, in which the Russian Empire lost to an alliance of the Ottomans, French, Brits, and the Sardinians, those darn Italians. The war started in the Balkans in July 1853, when Russian troops occupied the Danubian principalities, which were under Ottoman suzerainty. Then began to cross the Danube. Led by Omar Pasha, the Ottomans fought a strong defensive campaign and stopped the advance at Silistria. The Crimean War was one of the first conflicts in which the military used modern technology such as explosive nail shells, railways, and telegraphs. The war was one of the first to be documented extensively in written reports and photographs. As the legend of Charge of the Light Brigade demonstrates, the war quickly became an iconic symbol of logistical, medical, and tactical failures and mismanagement. Well, we gotta do something. Oh, we have to be... Oh, it autocompletes in 1861. That sucks. Alright, so then uh, the Russian... European Empire, how about that one? Not bad. Though most of our country lies in Asia, the most important lands lie in the West and Europe. And we'll do that one next. And let's grab you then. And Lumidia, Gennady, Drago, Dragomirov, Yelena. Oh, the Dominican Republic is killing itself. How lovely. Alright, do you have any resistance here? We want to put down resistance. We don't like resistance. Not enough cotton. Well, oh, high political stability. If you like to read about that, please go ahead. Oh, there goes the Seminole. So my goal in every campaign I ever do in the end of a new beginning is for me to just push on as fast and as hard as possible, even though sometimes we will have to take a little, take a little rest. And it doesn't look like we have any resistance here yet, so that's good stuff. Uh, Africa's on fire, South Africa, I should say. So here are the national spirits. We have the Tsars, Vodka, Monopoly. 
which is pretty good for a, a legislative or political power game. We have outdated military thought, which is god-awful. We have this reform, which we need to get rid of. The unorganized military, which is really, really bad. Way less army XP. Weekly manpower goes down. I mean, we have 6.28 million manpower, which is not bad. This won't really affect us too much, but still. Less organization for divisions. Less, or actually better military leader costs, as well as quite a bit less army organization regain. We also have political isolation, which is pretty bad. Pretty darn bad. We have detrimental colonial impact, so it is what it is. Racial supremacy and ideas similar to the white man's burden have plagued the judgment of officials and other people, blah, blah, blah. Colonies, I love colonies. Overwhelming political... Okay, well, if you'd like to do that, please go right ahead. I don't know. I haven't done anything to get more political stability, but we love Russia. And we lost the Crimean War, which is, isn't very good, but it is what it is. Um, in the meantime, we have some PP. Offer privileges for collaborators. I just want to... Can I just kill them? I would like to invest political attention into Central Asia because we want more great game influence so I can propose a treaty on the Kazakh border even though that happens in seven years. We can send support to Britain. Are they actually literally fighting the... Wow, China, you are looking not good. And I have some people who do recommend that I play as the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom here. Which, they do have a unique focus tree, so, you know, if there's enough support, I will play as them sometime. Not sure when, uh, but sometime. And you guys aren't fighting the Heavenly Kingdom yet, so there's no point to do that one quite yet. Pursue the Dream of Flight, what is that? Also, I do want to let you know that we are in a Nigerian economy, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. Um, advanced Machine Era, we can't really do that one yet. Uh, long has m man dreamt of flying in the sky. Our country is ready to take its first steps toward realizing that dream. Develop the Russian homeland. We get uh, a building slot, which is nice. Begin industrializing. Look, Caucasian war resumes. Caucasians. Since the beginning of... Oh, God. Since the beginning of the century, we have fought for the subjugation of Muslims living in the Caucasus areas. While we've been successful in Georgia, where the population is orthodox, we have failed so far in Circassia and the southern Dagestan. There, the fierce tribals have resisted our civilizing attempts, and thousands of our men have perished. Our army has used wrong practices in confronting these savages, and we've approached the situation wrongly. The time has co now come to mend our mistakes and to end this costly war once and for all. Let's, okay, stop doing that. Let's stop doing that then. Where are you guys at? You are just hanging out. Cool. Onwards to the Caucasus. Uh, annex, attack the Caucasus Imanmanaita. Circassia. Oh, it's this group. Um, let's give our guys some time. Oh, supplies so bad down here. So bad. I hope these guys can actually win. Let's get some more organization first. Yeah, supplies really got awful. Oh. Then again, these guys are how thick? The Grenadier divisions are 20 combo width. It's not bad. The Russian infantry are actually 30 combo width, which is very bad. Um... What if we attack? Let's see what we attack first. Go to war. Do they attack us? Oh, man. Supplies are just god-awful. Could you actually win here? Oh, we're going to take a lot of casualties in. Because supply is so bad here. How much manpower do they have? I can just brute forces, probably. We can't really tell. They have... Oh, we can't tell. Okay. Uh, give me the spy, then. Since Port Burton, develop disinherit our heir. Uh, well, where's our heir? Oh, yeah, it's not going to go great here. If that's the case, I'm actually going to. I might actually lower you. I don't like this. Take these off. I know 20 combat width is more ideal, but this will save us on guns for now, which we are completely out of. And it'll help us save on supply just a little bit more, too. So, you guys are over here. Go ahead and keep training because we need more army XP right now. If we can grab it. Uh, where was that group? You guys are down here. Did you have any upgrades, actually? Ooh. One of the rebellions is gone. Underwhelming political stability. That sucks. Uh, yeah, there's really not much we can do around here. I'm pretty sure you guys still can't attack. Oh, well, maybe. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The new Russian European Empire. Over the course of the past few centuries, the Russian Empire has greatly expanded its borders, and during the most recent major conflicts, most of its gains were made in Europe, or most westward territories are home to the Polish, a Catholic nation, which isn't afraid to fight for its independence. Their homeland is also inhabited by Germans and Jews. To the north lies Finland, a Protestant country with a rising national identity. The Baltic Sea coastline, the Baltic coastline, is inhabited by Latvians, Estonians, Lithuanians, and also by Germans, which have lived there since the times of the Livonian Order. With such diverse population, while we'll to carefully plan ahead, actively fighting separatism and other revolutionary ideals and ideas, which to seek to overthrow a just and legitimate rule for the Mother Russia, and Chica's found dead. Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. A tragical loss. A tragical loss? Oh, just a tragic loss. Alright, well, we can do some stuff down here. Theorist? Economics? That might not be bad to do, actually. How about industry? Uh, process? It really doesn't matter. Let's just do 10% is probably really good, but I want to save my PP for other stuff here. Um, is that really worth it? We already have more influence anyways. Offer 
the collaborators. Sure, we'll give them less war support so they have uh, less defense. After that, now we can enact radical economic reforms, or we can focus on the armament industry, which one this one was always available. Sell Alaska. Oh, man. Reign of Tsar Alexander II. Tsar Alexander II has been reigned into power. Has been reigned into power? I don't know about reign into power. Come on, give me some more so we can get some more supply here. Come on, I just want army XP. That's literally why I'm just forcing you into the battle. That's literally the only reason why we're here. I would love to know how much manpower they had, though. Oh, the company built. Krenholm Manufacturing Company's built. Okay, uh, manpower, we just don't know what they have down here, do they? Do we? No, we don't. Your Majesty, cotton merchant Ludwig Noop of the Free City of Bremen has established a Krenholm Manufacturing Company cotton spinning and weaving mill in Estonia on the banks of the Narva River. This factory is humongous and may actually be the largest in the world, employing 12,000 people and owning 32,000 acres of land. Noop will certainly be a certainly powerful man. Important to our economy, and is their best interest that they keep them on a good side? Excellente. Um, if that's the case, I'm just going to get rid of you then. Yeah, okay, there we go. Have everyone stop, hold, and I'm going to cut you down even further, because I don't want these guys to be too big. Now, that should help supply a little bit more, right? Why is it just so god-awful here? You know what? Screw it. Let them come in. Let them come in. Let them come in. Let them have a little bit of territory. There you go. The Panic of 1857? Uh, if you like to read about that, that's okay. The rails give way? What can be the end of all this but another great general collapse? Nice. It's looking slightly better here now. Slightly, slightly. Uh, it's still not very good. Why can't we see what the, what's up to? What is our spies doing? How are you guys this bad? My goodness, they are just god awful. At least we can see them a little bit. Uh, supplies. This is the the greatest weakness of this mod. It's supplies. Um, boost army morale. Not really worth it. And her air. Nothing really here. Increase colonization efforts. We could try that. It's fine. We might even get encircled. Let it happen. Let it happen. Let them spread themselves out a little bit more. Oh god, the graphical glitches. Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this is not very good for the first episode. Oh, boy. Let them come in, and we can circle them and probably kill them all. There you go. Let them weaken themselves. Keep these guys in... No, hold, hold, hold. You guys go over here. Come on, guys. There you go. Yes, we got one. We got one. You shouldn't be able to lose that one. Oh. Um, if that's the case, you might just be able to walk in. You might literally just be able to walk in. Let's hope so. Son, where are you going? I've had enough difficulty with you so far. Where'd you come from, son? Military force has been established in Maykop. We've we'll established a fort in Maykop, which is in the Caucasus area near the Turkish border. The fort will surely come in useful in the event of a Turkish attack. Great news. How many thousands of men have we lost? 12,000? That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty darn bad. Not gonna lie. I said, hold, 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 hold. There we go. We got another one done. Yeah, let them run into you. Now you guys hold. Yeah, I don't like these divisions. Grenadier divisions are like like light infantry. Just not very good. How are you losing? They can win, 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 but we lose, lose, lose? My gosh. I wish there were logistic companies here. There's nothing you can do to improve this too, either. How do we lose? Huh? How do we lose? Screw it, we're probably just going to force the attack then. Force them to die or just die yourself. I mean, we've got enough manpower to Russia, what do you expect? Come on, one of you guys, uh, probably going to lose these divisions. Anything else here? You know, these guys suck so much, my god. Yeah, I don't know, I'm going to tell you guys to go home. You guys are going to come all the way out here. Spread yourselves out much more thinly. There you go. Leave. You guys suck. Let them come out. Let them come on all out so then we can come in and race in there. Why is supply so bad here? My god. 
Come up here. Then again, those infantry divisions are like 30 combo width, which is ridiculous. Oh, Russia, why are you so backwards? Now go ahead and leave, go ahead and leave. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and leave. Let them come on in. Let's leave, let's leave. Supplies should be so much better after we're removing so many divisions here, or battalions. Div battalions. And why can we not see their map? Or now we can finally see it. Jesus Christ, that takes too long. But on September 7th, 1856, Tsar Alexander II was coronated at the Dominion, or Domishtan, Cathedral of the Moscow Kremlin. A younger, more enlightened ruler, Alexander would seek to modernize Russia both economically and socially through a variety of bold reforms. He would do away with the archaic and brutal system of the serfdom in 1861, earning him the title of the liberator by those he emancipated. Only time will tell if this will lead his great nation to the future, however, as the dark forces of the imperial court have to turn him into nothing more than another aggressive reactionary. Long may he reign. Promote Gorkachev? Gorkachev? Promote Panin? Promote Reutern? Von, Pro von Reutern. Ooh, high taxes? Oh. Get more consumer goods and legislative power game. Educate the serfs. Education? Do people want education? Mild reforms. Or we could do this one. Extend the liberal reforms. I'm not sure which one we want to do. Um, I kind of like that because we already have pretty high stuff. Third Rome is not bad. Finlandia? The government of Finland. Well, we'll do this one first. R promote Gorchakov. Alexander Gorchakov is an experienced diplomat and statesman from the princely family. His task is to reform the foreign situation of Russia. Cool. Let them come in and maybe we'll beat them up some more. More efforts. Spread them out. Let them even come up all the way up through here. And now we have no supply issues? Come on, man. Seriously. Let them spread themselves out even more, 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 more. Actually, if you really, really wanted to, you could probably just go in here and here and cut this guy off, kill him off, but whatever. Let's get, let get them up, 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 up. Ooh, follow them more chemistry. Not bad. Let's grab max factors in the state, max factors in the state. Pop population growth is always good to get. And let's grab some stuff for guns, because we're probably really back. Oh my gosh, we're really backward on guns. Russia, why are you so bad? Why are you not going to expand? Well, that's interesting. All right. Let's get rid of that. You know what? Let him come in. I don't even care. There you go. You don't even have to move that much. We're really out of equipment here. Come on. Yeah, we're really looking bad here. Just because I want to make more divisions, man. Slightly better. Could you guys actually win here? That is the main question. Can we encircle two divisions and kill them off? You should be able to. There's no mountains here. They have a little bit of artillery, which is good for them, but still. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. I have one division... Supply issues, man. My goodness. What a mess. Don't let him through. Kill those two divisions off if you can. Help them out. Alright, there you go. Very good. Get that. Uh, actually, just go up there too. There you go. You should be able to win at this point. They should be completely out of supply. And then we'll let them come back over here too. I, I hate doing it like this. I really do. I'm not sure this even does anything. I'm going to go to Nazar A. That should submit sooner or later. Removes the pot Alright. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I'll just give you guys then. My god. The mod itself is going wacko. Come on. Come on, Russia. You can hit them harder. Yeah, them having artillery is a really bad thing when we don't have artillery. These divisions, I don't like these divisions at all. They're just not very good. Oh, they actually wanted to leave, huh? Yeah, these divisions are god awful. Uh, you guys, get more of that. That'd be good. Did you, have you not learned anything, Yvonne? You're 
an infantry expert, but you're not even an infantry leader. He's an expert, but not a leader. Very weird. All right, so you guys, come on back up here. Do that. Thank you. Come again. And let them come on out, because there's literally no other way we can go in there. Because they have too much manpower. It's all mountains. So I'm really not sure what we can do about it. And supply, I mean, just, my god. Supply, seriously? Yeah, let them come on in. Come on in. Spread them out. Spread them out. That'll be good. And just go to Zugdidi. Zugdidi. Where are you going, son? But, happy 1858, everyone. So, they're born in Mexico. Good luck, Mexico. Alexander holds speech. Play it safe. Focus on our people. Uh, guys, go there maybe if you can. That'd be really, really good. You guys are going to Zugdidi. And we've got them. Thank you very much. I demand full annexation into your territory. At this point, please leave the territory because you've cost me too much supplies. There you go. Head on up there. What are you doing, Sean? Um, these guys are freaking out. You should be able to move. Fine, hold both of you there. Yeah, I don't understand this. I really don't understand. Oh, political stability falls. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense how they can just beat us. But the minister, office of the foreign minister of affairs is vacant, and only one man has shown the skills it takes to occupy such a prestigious position. Gorkachev it is then. Oh, look at that. La Rusa Nebud Pas Ella Se Urakule. Russia is not sulking, she is composing herself. Cool. Yeah, that's just stupid. This is completely, I'd say broken. Like, what the heck? How are they? 10 combat width can beat 12 combat width on def we're on, and we're on defense. What the hell? Defenders of the Caucasus? Yeah. Damage to enemy garrisons? That's a bit extreme. 5% more critical population, plus 50% defense on core territory. Yeah, that's a bit extreme, I'd say. This is, this is not even their core territory. They're just attacking me. Uh, let's come over here. Maybe this will help out. Internal politics? No, not this one. No unique mechanic. Military high command. Minister of war. Um, which is you? Army. Someone that's fit for this? Okay, we have no one fit for that position. Um, give me more leg of power. Get more infantry attack and defense. Chief of the army. We can't have a chief of the army, huh? Well, that's not very good. Chief of the Navy, I don't even, I don't even want to get bothered with that stuff. Wow, that is just pathetically stupid. You buff these guys way too much, devs. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, but that, that's, that pisses me off. No, you're going in. They have no strength for that. Absolutely no strength. You guys are going to go here. You're going to go straight there. You're going to go right there because you can spread yourself out. Even with force attack, we still can't win. How? How the hell is this happening? These guys are not that strong. I know our divisions aren't great, but my god. Seriously. Force it. Force them to die. I don't care how many Russian boys we got to slaughter. That's got to happen like this. I spend supports of Britain. Anything else here? Oh, look at that. We got Gorkachev. Oh, we get more stability that way. Boner synthesis. That's kind of cool. Uh, more military stuff, because this is stupid. Uh, practical rifling. Yeah, that'll probably be pretty good. Napoleon the third attack with the bomb. How the French Empire react? Probably not too nicely. No, you stay here, you ding dong. You dingus. Screw you as his help out right there too. Another division is going to die. As we are desperately trying to just win over here. Wurttemberg stands against liberalism. Good luck with that. Force it. We gotta break through a best. Uh, if I lose a hundred thousand men in this, so be it, whatever. Uh, we're actually catching up to them in terms of casualties. Good, good, good. Alright, we got Gimri. Is that it? That should be it. I mean, come on, man. That seriously should be it. Right, we got all the victory points. How is it not it? Oh my god, are you kidding me? <sighs> we almost have all the victory points. Oh, well. Guess time to move in. Hey, we made a division, I guess. 
I suppose that's good, but then again, that's a lot of attrition. Um, yeah, we're going to really cut down these divisions. 30 combo width is just too much. It's just too much. But cut these guys down even more. So supplies are not that bad. There you go. Share the wealth. Well, we killed that division off. That's good. You hold. That's fine. You guys hold. No, what are you... Yeah, oh, that's true. We are... Uh, we need those divisions in places. You go in there. There you go. Good. Now, you should be able to completely kill them off because they should be getting literally no supply. Because they literally have no victory points left. Right? Hopefully. You put up, keep up the pressure. I don't care how many Russian boys have to die here. I really don't. Force the attack. Force it, force it, force it. These guys, I'm probably going to destroy this army then. Because this is god-awful. Don't let them move. Do not let them move. Good. Kill every single person down here. I, like, this is... First episode, genocide. Let's begin. We lost 30,000. Oh, they're going to wish they never rebelled. They wish they would have never rebelled, man. Oh, look. Very good. Very good. Seriously, how are they still fighting out when being completely out of supply? Don't understand it. Really don't. But, next focus. Um, educate the serfs. I'm not really sure which one we want to do. Extend the liberal reforms. I mean, we have, we have to do... Extend the liberal reforms. That's completed that. Emancipation of serfs. Enact radical economic reforms. Industrialization efforts. Economic liberalization. I really don't know which one to go. Expand the Russian airway, railway network. I kind of want to do that one. Encourage capitalism. That sounds kind of like fun. Volga German farms. Coals extraction factories in Warsaw. Factories in Tsaritsyn. Alaskan gold rush. Well, I did want to go historical. Um, do we want to sell Alaska? Oh, we get a core. I kind of want to get this as a core. So maybe we'll enact radical economic reforms. Extend the liberal reforms. Emancipation of the serfs. Let's promote von Reutern first, though. Michael von Reutern is appointed as finance minister. He is responsible for promotion of private credit institutions and attempts to stabilize the rubble. Ruble. Ah, another one dead. Good. You're going to force the attack. I don't care how many Russian boys have to die. Every single one of these people here is going to perish. No ifs, and or buts. Every single last one of them. And I'm going to do this for the entire Caucasus region. You're not, they're not going to know peace. Like, we're going to put them in camps, man. I swear to God. How, how are they holding out? Like, I know they get the low buff on defense. They have no supply. Basically no supply at this point. Yes, they're in the mountains. But they should not be getting any more organization. Organization should just be dropping like crazy. Which it somewhat is, but only if you let time go on. Force it. More pressure, more pressure. And supply is really bad. Okay, delete you then. Goodbye. More, 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 more. Commander died of the great commander in arms passed away. Well, more than this talented person who was with his fellow subordinates in the victories and defeats and who has happened to loyally serve Russia for many years in his career. That's a tall loss for our, all of our people from peasant to emperor. Rest in peace, commander. We'll organize a great funeral to honor this commander. Um, weekly war support? I kind of like that one. It's only eight days. We might get a little bit more weekly war support. It doesn't take that long for consumer goods, which is fine. I don't care how much it takes. You forced them to die. Thank God, that was ridiculously god awful. I know, like, I'm sure it was frustrating in real life, but. Oh man. Colonization? You're gonna colonize the crap out of them. And if they re refuse it, then. Mm mm. Mm mm. You put them under the boot. The Imaminate. Oh, look at that. Uh, defeat him. The year of 1858, the Caucasus Imamite capitulated after countless years of fighting. Our troops have taken Gimri after fierce and often savage fighting, resulting in the many loss of many men. Now that the Imamat has been taken, we finally have firmly connected Azerbaijan with Russia, and this will most certainly help us secure our border against the Turkish or Persian incursions. As for the Imamite, the population will have to accept Russian rule no more. Is the Caucasus a wild, uncivilized place to declare war on Circassia? Oh, crap. Another one? Oh, boy. Well, yes, we've had one war. How about another war? We're not ready for that, though. This is not going to go very well now, is it? Um, actually, we could have sent just a horse. These are just light horses, though, which I don't really like. Um, which we'll do soon enough. Anything else here really doesn't... Gather yeah, Warsport, not bad. Weekly Warsport goes up, I like that. Um, Hold a World Fair would be kind of cool, but... 
Oh, decrease colonization efforts? No, 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 no. We're not going to be done colonizing at any time. Um, why? Okay, why? Why? Why are supplies so bad here? Why? Oh my god, I hate Russia already. <laughs> why are you so bad, Russia? Screw it. We want defending the border? Kind of cringe, man. Come here. Clear on the horse. Calcio, please go faster, faster, faster. Bleeding Kansas. Well, that's an American thing right now. Also, right now, we're just trying to build up as much industry as possible. Just tons and tons and tons and tons of industry. Uh, the goal actually might be for these guys to come in as much as possible. We could use more political stability. Can we vote for anything? That might be really bad. What, what can we do anything here? Trade laws, growth policies, healthcare. Uh, I kind of want to go early mobilization, maybe. Early mobilize. Oh, this one. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Let's go look here. We have some ministers, maybe some advisors. Uh, Marian Albertovich Kowalski. Research speed, great urbanizers, okay. Efficient. Oh, that's not bad. I like the stability, not much, but more legislative power game. We can only get 1.59. We have Nadezia Stasova. More st way more stability. This one's not bad. Look at that. Artemy Yakovlevich Tereshenko. I like the construction speed. You get more consumer goods. It has to be before 1866. I think that's worth it. Let's try that one. That costs. That's actually extremely high cost, but whatever. That should help us out. Just maybe slightly more. Three days left. Three, two, declare war. There we go. All right, we've gotten. Well, we can go to war. If we really want to, but let's see what happens. They're spazzing the hell out. Wow, what is that horse doing? Look at that. Ugh. Wow, he's growing. And it's like a mega Pokemon, a mega evolution. He gets bigger and then smaller almost immediately. Holy crud! <sighs> Anyways, hey, they're attacking us, which I'm totally okay with. Russia. A. T. Oh. Okay then. Well, let's keep spying on them, even though we have only one person here. And since we got the ships here in the Black Sea. Uh, hold on. Make sure we're in the right theater here. Yes, that's fine. There we go. Wait. Oh, how how laggy is that? Okay, that's good. Okay, so, uh, hold speech. Focus on our neighbors. Good. Oh, pyroglycerin synthesis. Okay, that's cool. Recovery rate, um, machine tools, output would be nice. We could release some more output, dockyard output, infrastructure, construction speed is nice and all. Research speed, let's go get early thermodynamic theories. So, I said earlier that I wanted to blaze through this as fast as possible. That's not going to happen. <laughs> That's not going to happen. And as you can see, this is a long video for the first episode. But Oh, oh God, food candy. Yes, uh, supply, supply consumption, please. Yes, please. Oh, there goes Haiti. The Empire of Haiti is annexed. That sucks. Sucks to be Haiti right now. We all have 109 million people living in our country. Well, that's obviously not enough. I would love to know how much manpower they have. We just have seven here. So, really, 30 combo with. It's just not a very good combat with. I don't want to use 80s. I would like to try to attack here, but we're probably going to lose. I mean, we've got some really thick boys here. And, yeah, we're probably going to be losing here, which is not very good. We're already suffering some. My God. The graphical glitches. Oh, my goodness. Get rid of that. We're just going to start cutting this down. We just can't deal with this. Supply is just not the boy, no. China ambushes Hong Kong. Unexpected. The Battle of Kowloon starts. Oh, Michael. Oh, let's do this one. Let us march on. The Empire Qing, Great Qing must win the border war or they will lose the Battle of Kowloon. Um. Okay. A skilled German economist from the Baltic Dutch, he says, emerged as a prime candidate to guide our financial policy. While not Ru of Russian blood, Michael von Reutern is still a cut above the other potential candidates. Now would be an ideal town to hire his services. Let us hire him immediately. Look at him. Oh, his construction speed, which sucks. He's a tax collector. But get better consumer goods, which is nice. Uh, arena tax. High taxes. Ooh. Puma Panin? Sure, why not? Victor Panin is a Russian landowner and lawyer responsible for several changes in the Russian law system like a reform in criminal law or emancipation of the serfs. Emancipation for the people. Oh, force Shemil to swear allegiance to the Tsar. Okay. Oh, caucus inmate. Inmate. There's a greatly increased compliance within the caucus. Kill them all. Like, I, don't, I don't even... No, just kill them. <laughs> I don't care what the cost is. Just kill them, please. <laughs> How many thousands have we lost already? We've lost... 165. Not bad. Not bad. I think we're doing pretty well for this one. Keep building, building, building. Other than that, I guess 
we can do this once. Great game influence. It goes up to maybe 30. I'm not sure how much more we need. Obviously, we need to be ready by 1864, which would be nice. Develop the home, it might be pretty good as well. Arrest opposition leaders. Yeah, no. Political legitimacy might not be bad. We can probably close that one out for now, just because we don't really need to see it too much. But I would love to see... Ooh, well, better supplies, first of all. Let's lower this. 30 is a bit too much. I think 20 is probably the max we'll do for supply. But we'll also need to throw on, you know, artillery. Artillery is going to be so important. Engineers are so incredibly important as well. So, that should help out supply a little bit more. Just a little bit. Maybe not a low. Oh, we're just barely above the supply limit here, which is totally okay with me. Um, There's really no good place to attack, though. Hmm. Could you guys actually attack here and do well? Probably not, but we'll see. Five divisions attacking Edward von Totlem, Ben. Come on, guys. You guys got this. You're level six attack. You're level, becoming an organizer. Oh, come on. You guys got this. Oh, maybe he do. He do. He's beating Magomet Amin. He's an ambusher. He's a hills fighter and a mountaineer. So, Russia.9.t. Okay. Probably something about capitalism. Uh, if you guys can actually make it, go to Arkansas. The Gorky Library is established. A great nation is filled with many illiterates. Establishing public libraries has been deemed important by Tsar Alexander II, and even more so in the cabinet of Tsar Al Nicholas I. To help educate our serfs. However, during the majority of Nicholas I's rule, the Russian government did not have enough money to fund public libraries. So, it was not until today that the first public library in the Oblast of Ryazan was built. The library has been constructed in the city of Gorky and has many wealthy educated patrons. Excellent, excellent news. Alright, so they're attacking us. Let's kind of hang out. And let them uh, do the damage to us. I don't want you over there. I want you over here. So if you want to keep attacking, I am totally okay with that. Uh, since support to Britain might not be bad. All right. So where are we at? If we could get another advisor. I think civilian. Oh, we can't go any higher, huh? This all cannot be reformed in military. Oh, civilian economy. Sucarinos. Why do you suck so hard? Uh, well, don't, 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 don't take that out of context. But uh, work day. We can't reform a lot in our parliament, can we? Hey, we have child labor. Okay, not bad, not bad. Flintlock pistol, so we can do slightly more damage. Because I think we need to just do as much damage as possible here. Um, how do we get this one? Because we are still technically an Agarian country, which I did say earlier, but... Uh, what do we need for this one? Alright, who died? Dominican Republic. Man, his, the island of Hispaniola must just be a bloodbath right now, just like the Caucasus. Practical rifle. Rifling? Rifling. Ah, okay, so we need to finish that one first. Infantry swords would be nice. Five percent more soft attack would be pretty good. Help them out. There you go. Oh, actually, if you hover, I never knew that. If you hover over this, it tells you how much total manpower we have. And line infantry. Saint Isaac's Cathedral is completed. After forty years of construction, the beautiful Saint Isaac's Cathedral has been completed in Saint Petersburg, known as the City of the Tsars. The cathedral was ordered by Alexander I and is the fourth church built on Saint Isaac's Square. This cathedral is named after Saint Isaac of Dalmatia, a patron saint of Peter the Great, who had been born on the feast day of that saint. The cathedral took a th one million gold rubles to complete, sinking in the imperial coffers, but it is worth it. Glory to God, glory to Russia. How can you? Okay, how can you glory God if you don't capitalize the gene God? You're breaking my heart. I'm not orthodox, but my goodness, you're breaking my my god of the heart. Oh no! I look 25. Not bad. Oh wait, China has that? Huh. Expel the Circassians? Oh, they're gonna die, man. I swear to goodness. Uh, we probably shouldn't do this while they're in battle. But supply issues, good. Eh, supply issues. How bad are supply issues? Yeah, they're pretty bad. Let's remove them. Wow, are they? Yeah, we need artillery. Like my goodness. If that's the case, go here too. Just because they're so weak. Um, that'd be good. Look at that. Oh, they're almost dead. Cut them off. Oh, we cut these guys off completely. Almost. They still have a little bit of supply down here, but that's okay. After promote Panin, I think I still want to extend the liberal reforms. I think that sounds pretty darn good. But, ooh, high taxes. Reintroduce the brandy excess ass. I don't like high taxes. But the third realm might, might be nice. Rio Politique. Flexible foreign policy. Weltpolitik. Uh, Victor Panin. A conservative powerhouse, Victor Panin has been shown himself to be the ideal candidate as their ministry of justice. It'll be ideal to seek him out now before it's too late. Absolutely. Cool. And we've got him here too. Less le legislative or political power. Get more stability. That's not terrible. Uh, uh, stability's nice. I'd like more stability. Yeah. Research speed. Uh, honestly, that actually might not be too bad, just because you get, we need so much more research speed, but it's only 3%. I'd rather have 5% more legislative power gain, as well as 2% more stability. That's a lot more stability. 5% more legislative power gain just isn't that much. 
Which will probably do something there anyways, but we'll see what happens. So, that horse is just freaking the heck out. My goodness. I'd hate to be that horse's owner. Like, oh my goodness. <sighs> Division's just suckerino, man. They just suck. Alright, so here we're at. Sochi's looking good. Supplies are still bad. Oh, Kiev Police Department found it. Kiev is becoming a big city in our empire, and every city needs a police force to keep the peace. Therefore, by the order of the Emperor, the Kiev Police Department is formed today at the HQ at number 15, Volodymyr Street. Great job. I guess we could try to gather more political legitimacy. Might as well try that. We've got enough PP for now. We could hold a world fair, but it doesn't really do much. Send support to Britain. Um, yeah, why not? We give them stuff. They can have that. Boost army morale. A call for more rights. The Russians are angry. Our populace is taken into the streets to enforce their demands for the more rights and self-determination. If we were to fight them, our government would stand weakened. But if we don't, we might want to give in to their demands. Our rules are rightful. We don't give up. Um, we will switch from absolutism to parliamentary suffrage. Now that sounds very ahistorical. Oh, but if we give them suffrage, then we could do some reforms because um, absolute monarchy and with no constitution, no elections. Oh, give them a little bit of. A little bit of uh, that. The gate delegates from the Moldavia arrived complaining about the Ottomans ignoring the accusations of voting rigging. How should we respond? I'll respond back the call. Back the call, maybe. We'll see what happens. I mean, we're literally in the middle of our own war right now, but hey, whatever. Yeah, actually, might be able to do okay here, too, maybe? Maybe not? Head on in, head on in. And do that, anyways. That's for later. And we've lost a thousand. Oh, that's not bad. Twenty thousand left. How much? How much manpower do they actually have? This is going better than the other uh, other place. Not too great. Not too bad. I'm next to you guys. I want to get closer to you. Come on, you guys can do this. Do they have any forts here? It's probably mountain. Yeah, it's a god dang mountain. Hmm. Don't like it. Uh, fighting in this territory sucks. Is he, oh, but he is becoming a hills fighter, an organizer, which is good, 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 good. Actually, supply-wise, we're looking not too bad on cannons. Actually, cannons, throwing cannons on here might not be a bad idea. Uh, we need more arm XP, though. We'll give you a, quite a bit more soft attack, which is something we really, 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 really want. Hey, 80%. It looks like we might actually win here. Force it. You will, you'll win even faster. Good, good, good. Nice. You're gonna like the way you look. Hopefully. Get more daily army XP. No, 2% of the budget. Actually, we might want to raise that up. Come on. Now, five divisions here. That's a bit much. Supplies are still god awful. So, getting. Uh, how are, oh, protests against vodka. Prices for alcohol were always relatively small in Russia from the times of the Yvonne the Fourth, but with that time, that price has increased more and more. Nearly in 1830 to 40 years, prices have risen to 2 to 3 rubles per bucket of vodka. This money is also a price for a calf. Now it became even worse, as prices for vodka have risen three times as large as they were in 1850 year. This is because Russia needs to replenish depleted budget after the Crimean War, but also causes instability in her states, especially amongst the poor. Protests against that policy originally started in Kovno government, in Lithuania, where local villagers took oaths to abstain from drinking any high degree alcohol except for, med for medicinal purposes. However, wine and beer so permitted locals, supported by the Catholic clergy, established chapters of the Brotherhood of Sobriety, a temperance society that originated in Silesia and support from the Pope himself. That was in the end of the year of 1858. A few months ago, the situation has become even worse. Peasants all around the empire are taking oaths of abstention from vodka. Boycotts are 91 Uzieds, areas that are, are that is part of government, of 32 governments. Sales of alcohol dramatically decreased with the vodka prices dropping into 16 to 20 times and retailers sometimes offering vodka for free. Now members of the temperance societies attack taverns and destroy alcohol supplies and stockpiles. This is going beyond the borders of good and bad. Send trips to secure that no tavern will be under attack from this very day. Um, hmm. Well, let the free market decide what's going to happen there. All right, can we actually just win here? Please, can we just win here now? Like, I, I, I we gotta close this area off. And you guys just go straight in there. Ah, the brandy. Well, okay, we had the backside test. Maybe that's a bad thing to do now. Uh, let's do this one. Introduce public accounting just because. Look at society, so, social economics and humanity stuff done. Get a little more stability. I think that'd be okay. Just kill them off. Do they actually have any bonuses like the other nation to uh, defense and core territory? I got encryption, decryption, which hurts us. 
Yes. No, not yet. No, no, no. Damage enemy garrisons. But yes, they do. War with a rival. That sucks. Well, we're going to treat you like we treated those other people. We're going to just kill you off. Uh, just hang out there. Don't don't give them a supply point. Not Do not give them a supply point. Stay there, son. Stay there. All right. All right. Now, that's a little better. 20 combo width is exactly what we want. Not too bad. Oh, my God. The graphical glitches. Arrgh. You guys looking okay though over there. Force it. Force him to die. Even with forced attack, you are still losing. You're losing extremely hard. Holy crud. Alright, let's go do this. And the mini rifle. More supply consumption, which sucks, but whatever. It's alright. I wonder if you three could actually just come over here and do that. You might actually be able to. We are on force attack. Maybe not. Okay, never mind. My goodness. Our soldiers just... Where are you going? What? Where, where are you going? Oh, is this our ally here? Hang out. Hang out. Oh, if I have to delete you, to help supply out. Maybe that'd be good. Man, these guys are just freaking the heck out. My goodness. Help support the attack and force it. You know what? Maybe we'll do this. Get them out of Sochi that way, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Good. And we're going to throw in cannons here. I know it's going to hurt supply, but four divisions. That's quite a few. All right, so we push them out a little bit. They must have literally just died there, then. Force it, force it, force it. I don't care how many divisions die. Ah, oh, good. Yeah, get out. Get out. Now let them get out. Let, let them all get out. Hold, 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 hold. I said hold. Son, I said hold. Now go and help me kill them, these guys off. God dang it. You guys hold. All of you guys hold here. Now spread yourselves out so that's way you can do this again. Oh, this is so annoying, I'll be honest. It's incredibly annoying. How many thousands have we lost? 6,000. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, industry's coming along though. That's very nice. Oh, the Konstantin Rutsky and Company Limit, uh, LTD is founded. My emperor today, Konstantin Rutsky and Company, was founded. The company owns an iron foundry in Warsaw and also specializes in machinery, steel, and engineering. Owned by a successful Polish shipbuilding magnate, Andrzej Artura Zemlowski. Good things are expected for the company. Keep at it. Very nice. Screw it. It cost me too much supply here. God, I hate fighting down here so much. Even though supply right now is looking good. Like, we're at 19 out of 19. We should be really good for this, right? Kill every single last one of them. Force it. Force every single one of them to die. Death is the only solution that they, they get. They literally, they literally just died. I love it. And they'll attack here, and they'll go attack there, and then leave that them there. Come on, guys. Come expand. At your own expense. And we're through here. Nice. Order World Fair. Anything different down here? No? Alright. Good. Very good, very good. Alright, so the guys made it over. They're getting over. So... I did not expect this to be this difficult this early on. But, extend the liberal reforms. We'll expand upon the liberal reforms in Russia. That might be a bad thing to do. I'm not really sure. It seems like everything's okay, though. It doesn't say there's no content, unlike here, which says, support the Irish, treaty of non-interference, unfinished, abandon the West, restore the Holy Alliance, which is unfinished, unfinished, but the British investments is okay. Um, this stuff is looking pretty good, except for they have two focuses over here. Velt Politique has unfinished, unfinished, and French investments, tech trade with these guys. Um, and then the League of the Three Emperors is unfinished as well, so. So let me know in the comments below. Which one should we do? Should we do Real Politique, Flexible Foreign Policy, or Velt Politique? Let me know in the comments below, just because I'd like to know what you guys are thinking. Which one we should go down? I mean, obviously you can see stuff that here not finished, so let me know which one we should take. Um, I'd like to attack here immediately, but we're going to immediately just attack here. We should be able to win there. They don't have that many divisions here. It, it's literally just one. Overwhelming political stability in Russia. You bet your butts. So, yeah. I was trying to say earlier, we are an agrarian society, which is not very good. We want to go at least to industrializing. So, switching your industrialization law mostly happens by decision, save for a few exceptions. 
So it looks really bad for us right here. My goodness, it's so bad. So I'm not sure how to get higher except just building, 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 building some more. So yeah, let them come in. Let them come in. Actually, you go right there. You might actually just be able to kill them off if you're fast enough. But they're only they're good enough. Siege artillery. Oh, plus 20% attack for forts. I don't think there's any forts here. No, there's no forts. My cop? Huh. Go here and take back the supply base. We got him. Oh, Ekaterinburg. Are you kidding me? No. Stuttgart, no more political isolation after having attended the Zwei Kaisertreffen in Stuttgart, the capital of the Kingdom of Württemberg, we finally managed to get out of the political isolation in the Crimean War, which plunged us into. Finally, great. How are you able to hold? Like this is ridiculous. I mean, my goodness, Russia sucks so flippin' hard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess that we got that one done. That's already 1859. Um, process engineering. I, oh, I'll put. Oh, get more research speed. Inorganic chemistry. Good, 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 good. Hey, we cut these guys off. Honestly, if we cut these guys off, they should get literally no supply, right? Then again, the game's like, who cares? Just take a Katzenberg, please, 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 please. How are you losing? When they have new supply. I guess go that one. Free industrial farms is fine. Please tell me we've won. This is annoying. This is really annoying. How have we not won? How are they 99% of the way... Oh my god. How? Why? Yeah, this has to be looked at more. I know End of the New Beginning mod is still in development. It's still definitely in development, but... This just makes anyone who plays just pissed off. This is not fun. <laughs> This was stupid. Alright, so now, where's the genocide button? Expel them? Get the hell out of here, you pieces of garbage. When done, it'll become core, we get more manpower, we lose some manpower, whatever. Integrate the Georgian Principalities. It has to be after 1863. Hopefully we're done fighting these goddamn pieces of garbage. And just in case, you never know if some Turks are going to show up and say, hey. So, we don't want Turks showing up and saying, hey. Because as much as we love Turks... We're going to say no, 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 no today. And actually, I think I might research some artillery as well. Just because, let's see, it is 8, 1859. And we do have board guns. And I think howitzers overall were just a little bit better than the field guns, maybe? So, this one, actually, this one's better breakthrough. But you're not always on attacking. This is better soft attack, which I do want more of, so. But extend the liberal reforms. And which we shall do. Protect the Jews. Oh, we... Oh, maybe we should have more centuries of mild reforms. Oh, uh, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, conscription reforms. Oh, that's not too bad. Liberalize higher education. That's probably the way we really do want to go. I guess, do we... I guess if we have to protect the Jews, so be it. We're going to lose a lot of population, but get more daily political power, which I do like. But maybe... Oh, we need to do emancipation of the serfs. So, sorry, Jews. Not yet, maybe. Where are the serfs? Oh, we need to do this one. Uh, so we're going to protect the Jews a little later on. Let's go educate the serfs. We're struggling with huge illiteracy amongst the peasantry. We have to change it if we want to modernize our empire. We lose more political power, but we get more uh, research speed, which is a give and take, of course. Russian homeland. Uh, encourage Prussian, or Prussian, well, not Prussian, uh, Russian centrism. On the year of 1859, the Circassians capitulated after countless years of fighting. Our troops subdued their final stronghold, Sochi, and have captured their principal rebel leaders, effectively neutralizing the resistance. The Circassians would not have to either accept our benevolent rule or flee to the Turks. No matter what, a new chapter opens in the caucus of peace and prosperity or progress under Russian protection. Russia's triumph. Good. Oh, I'll have to fight. The end of Abkhazia. Goodbye. And if we saw the guys here. Put them down. Find every single one of them. Put them down. Put them in the ground. I don't care what you have to do to these people. Just burn them. Sorry. But I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I'm really not sorry. They are annoying and they deserve death. Uh, let's grab infantry, infantry swords. Nice. We're not giving our guys swords? What? What's wrong with us? Alright. Cool. 
All right, so up next we will get the um, artillery next, which would be very good. We really can't vote for reforms? Man, monarchies? I thought monarchies were cool. Can this be a show trial? Or not even show trial. What is this one? Baltic German subculture. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we have a subculture and a subculture. That's not bad. Child labor. Can we get rid of child labor? Oh, we can't. Oh, we have to decree it. Um, okay. Alright, so then so be it. You know what? So be it. Can I close this? Oh, it's lagging. That's why. Growth, growth, growth. Suffrage. Uh, early mobilization. Um... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I really like the monarchy. Because now, with the Russian Empire, we're on partial mobilization. We went from civilian to partial, so we lost some political power game. It's fine, whatever it is. It is what it is. Actually, we've lost some population. We're at 108.7 million. 1.75, still very good. But instead of minus... Oh, we actually lost civilian construction speed. Oh, that sucks. We got more military construction speed. Oh. But we did get plus 10% more consumer goods to use, so... And we did lose 10% construction speed. We got more research speed, though. So it's a give and take. Eh, overall, that could be really good. That could be really bad. Just depends on your opinion. So, Okay. You are literally the only army down here. And yet, you're still suffering from supply issues. Wow. That is just so sad. Shares in the Suez Canal Project. After being in the planning works for at least a decade, the Compagnie Universale du Canal Maritime de Suez, the French Empire Company, has been informed to undertake the task of building the canal. Did any of this send a request for other powers to purchase stocks in the company to fund the construction? Are we interested? No, but okay. Alright, that's fine, whatever. Uh, send support to Partial economic mobilization is damaging the Russian economy. Our peacetime economy is taking considerable damage because of the fact that we're not at war and yet have mobilized our economy and tipped the scale significantly in favor of military production. We should probably tackle this problem. Ah, uh, we'd go back. Well, that was a waste. Regrettable. Well, let's give it a few more days. I like getting as many consumer goods as possible, so. Give about five more seconds. Five, four, three, whatever. Well, it's good to be king, I guess. Uh, anything here? Not really. Oh, issue of alcoholism. Oh, we could remove that. Is that worth getting rid of the issue of alcoholism? Oh, we get so much political power from that, and we might we just want to save as much political power as possible, so. Yeah, that hurts construction speed, though, and output. And division organization. It gives us a lot of stability, but... Mm, let me know. When should we get rid of the Tsarist vodka monopoly? Let me know in the comments below, please. Thank you very much. Uh, since we're here... Mechanical stuff... Resource extraction times. Uh, I like the 10%, but it really doesn't matter to me. And I'll go biochemistry. And we'll read one more focus before we end the episode. Promote emancipation with the nobility. Well, there's not much to read here, so I guess it is what it is. But if you enjoyed this first video in our campaign, oh, look at that. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out our Disc my Discord link in the description below. And I'll catch you later in the next episode where we shall continue marching and expanding Russia's influence. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.